Hey kids, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name's Amanda. I make videos about movies, TV shows, books, and writing. Today I am doing yet another book review, and I am reviewing The Making of a Small Town Beauty King by Savvy. For those of you who do not know, Savvy is a fellow booktuber. She's also a small business owner. She owns a small business called Forever Home Friends. She owns a small business called Forever Home Friends where she has written books based on real rescue dogs. She also makes plush animals, t-shirts, pillows, all kinds of stuff. Uh, there's a link down below and a portion of the proceeds goes to a local animal shelter in the Chicago area. I've left links down below both for Forever Home Friends and also to Savvy's book channel here on YouTube. Anyway, let's get started. So this book follows a group of kids, namely two of them, Stephanie Simon and Jackie Allman. Jackie is a high school senior and he is wanting to come up with something that he can put on his college applications to impress colleges and stand out from the other students. So he decides to sign up for this pageant that is going to be taking place at their town fair later on that week in which they crown the town's fair queen. This is kind of a big deal because he will have been the only male to A, even sign up for the pageant, B, participate in the pageant, and C, potentially win. Stephanie, on the other hand, does not like the pageant. She wants to do everything in her power to ruin the pageant and bring it down, and it basically just follows those two kids' journeys throughout the week. Okay, so things that I liked. I pretty much, I mean, I did the same thing that I did for James Patterson's The Chef. Um, I did purple for the things that I liked, pink for the things that I didn't like. As you can see, there is no pink. There is, however, two greens, and this was just an inconsistency that I found. It was only one uh, with regard to Jackie, where... So he's talking about um, the town and the different, like, businesses that are there. He's talking about Gus Groceries, or it's actually called Gus's Supermarket. But he's talking about it and he's saying how it was, like, he finds it really annoying that it's called Gus's Supermarket and not Gus Groceries. Because in his words, it was a painful waste of alliteration. Oh, that, oh, this just made sense to me. So that's through Logan's perspective, that one sentence. Logan was always annoyed that the supermarket's owner, Gus Bennett, didn't name the store Gus Groceries. It was a painful waste of alliteration. Oh, disregard. Let's move on. So things that I liked. I really liked the way that the dynamic between Logan and and Jackie was written. I also love the name Jackie for a, a guy. Uh, his name was Jackson, which funnily enough in The Eldest Witch, one of my characters' names is Jackson. He goes by Jax though. But I liked that he went by Jackie and he preferred Jackie. Anytime someone called him Jackson, he would correct them, Jackie. Anyway, I really liked the dynamic between Logan and Jackie. It was very, very easy to see that these two had been friends for a super long time. They were very comfortable with each other. I also very much liked how the girls that liked the pageant, because the main girl that we follow in my opinion was Stephanie um, so we get a lot of her perspective with her not liking the pageant and not liking it for the sexist and misogynistic undertones but Savvy also took the time to write the girls who did enjoy the pageant and gave them a very specific motivation for liking the pageant. They like to, you know, dress up. They like to pretty themselves up. They like to play with makeup. They genuinely enjoy something that our main heroine sees as shallow. And throughout the novel, I really liked seeing Stephanie's growth with that and seeing that, you know, just because you view something as misogynistic or this or that doesn't mean that there aren't people who enjoy doing those things because it's what they're passionate about. I mean, that's really what this book was about. It was about finding finding your passion and it was about um, kind of a kind of a coming of age uh, for two separate kids that I mean are are in my opinion pretty opposite um, but they arrive at the same conclusion that people are passionate about different things and they shouldn't be shamed for their passion no matter what you personally think about it. I also adore, I'm pretty sure I tweeted this at one point, I adored, literally adored Tyler. Uh, Tyler is Jackie's little brother and he is freaking hilarious. I mean, hysterical. I think because he was like, a lot of his dialogue was in Spanish, which is a trait that I've never seen given to a character, especially a character like Tyler. Tyler's eight years old, but he likes to watch like, de la novelas, which I freaking love. Like, I love it. I also loved the way Lizzie was written. Lizzie is Stephanie's younger sister. 
um, the one that Tyler has a crush on. She's also eight years old, and I I loved the way that she was written. She doesn't have a ton of screen time or page time, I should say. I, I would say that Tyler has a little bit more page time, and Tyler I think was a just a tad more memorable, probably because he was speaking Spanish. He was the only character that was speaking Spanish. But I, I loved the way that Savvy constructed a scene. Because, like, when we first see Lizzie, if I'm not mistaken, it's where uh, Stephanie and Lizzie are sitting at home. And Stephanie is overhearing her mom talk about talk to, on the phone with one of her friends about Stephanie entering the pageant. Because her mom really wants her to enter the pageant. And Lizzie is on the floor playing with her Barbie dolls. And like it's kind of bouncing back and forth between Stephanie overhearing her mom on the phone and Lizzie, you know, muttering something under her breath, like that's why you don't mess with nuclear Barbie. Like it just, it really felt like the scene was alive. It wasn't just all focused in one direction because that's how life is, right? Like right now I'm filming this video, Adam is downstairs. I don't know what time is it? I don't know, he's probably doing some phone calls for work or he's like watching what he's missed on wrestling, I really don't know. So I really liked the way that Savvy wrote that. It made the scenes feel very real and it just made them, for me, it made them that much more three-dimensional. Um, things that I didn't like, honestly, there really wasn't very much. In terms of content, there really wasn't anything that I didn't like, truly. And I'm not just saying that because Savvy's my friend, like truly, there was no really, you know, content-wise, there was nothing in there that I didn't like. I do wish that we had gotten a little bit more, um, I guess, description of the actual fair. Um, and I wish that we had been shown a little bit more of the fair. Really, we just kind of get a layout of where everything is, and then we get to see um, a little bit of the pageant, but we didn't get to see that much of the pageant. And I do realize that this is a novella and not a novel, but I don't know, I, I feel like this the fair was built up a lot. Uh, throughout the course of the story and I just would have liked to have seen a little bit more of the fair. What else? The third person omniscient I think could have been just a little bit clearer in terms of whose perspective we were reading at any given time. Um, like I said, I, it, I'm really sure that this is the only place where I got confused because I truly thought that Jackie had been the one to notice that about Gus's groceries and the alliteration and all that and then later he says like yeah I think he mixes up the word but yeah as far as what I would rate this book I would really give it I think a four out of five um, I really did enjoy it it was a quick nice you know easy read I actually uh, am probably going to be giving this to my mom because uh, my mom teaches high school and she has a classroom library so I'm probably going to be giving this to her to put into her classroom library because I really do think that this is a, a novella that um, the kids in high school would really enjoy and you know that I think they could relate to. I mean even I could relate to Jackie to be honest with you. I could relate to him because I mean I remember what that was like. I remember being in a place in my life where I didn't really know what I wanted to do or who I wanted to be and then kind of figuring that out along the way. So I think in terms of like making the characters relatable and making them feel real, they absolutely felt real to me. And that's all I got for you today, kids. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave me a like on this video if you enjoyed the content today. I really encourage you to check out Savvy's channel below. Also, if you are inclined to subscribe, the subscribe button is literally right there. Ding the little bell so that you get notifications every time I post a new video. I post on Wednesdays. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.